but we should not let the spirit of Shabbat depart from us. The things that we learned over the last 24 hours, but more than that, the coming together, the after, the unity, that is at the heart of the message of Limud. It's what you learn and coming together, but most of all, sensing the responsibility that we have for one another, the sense of our reboot, of coming to understand that we are on the chad, the As we stood at Har Sinai to get the Torah, God said, you're ready for it. When we each said, each chad, b'leibachad, when each person felt what was in the other's heart. So we come together from Russia to Israel, from the Ukraine to the Bronx. We stand together, recognizing that what we have in common far outweighs our differences. And when we go to the Salute to Israel parade today with also Jews of all kinds and non-Jewish friends of Israel, that we bring this message throughout the week. There will be those who will seek to divide us. We will unite. There are those who will seek to separate us and we will build bridges. There are those who will seek to intimidate us. And we will stand stronger and stronger together because in Achtut, in unity, we have strength. Every great miracle that happened to the Jewish people had only one precondition, and that was Achtut, unity. The story of Purim, the story of Hanukkah, every one of them, let alone the rescue of Russian Jews and Ethiopian Jews and Syrian Jews and Iraqi Jews and Iranian Jews and Yemeni Jews, only when Jews put aside their differences and stand together. When we're united, there is no challenge we can't overcome, including all the anti-Semitism. When we're divided, every challenge is too great. We are known as one people to the world. We have to be known to ourselves as one people and recognize that the differences are our strength, that we have many challenges and we can overcome them. We've overcome the worst enemies. A handful of Russian Jews turned the Iron Curtain into a Venetian blind. They stood against a prison that spanned two continents. They made Glasnost possible. They made Perestroika possible. We can take on any one of the challenges but only when we stand together and realize we have one faith and one faith. And what happens to one part of Klai Israel affects all of Israel. So none of us can believe that we can live on our own and be safe. It's only when we come together, and I hope you will take the message of Limud, the message of unity, back with you in your personal life, in your family life, in your community, and in our countries that we will spread this message and bring Jews together to stand against the challenges of our time. And believe me, the enemies will melt before us. Every enemy that confronted us, when Jews were united, they were divided. Because God will be with us when we show that we are on the Chad, that we are one people. So remember, what unites us far outweighs our differences. The media and others only focus on what separates us. We will focus on what unites us. We'll come and continue to support Limud because it helps bring together Jews of all kinds to recognize we have one Torah and we have one future. And when we read this today, the mitzvahs of Shemitah and all of that, the message was that Lova Shemayim, these are not laws that are only fulfilled in heaven. It's in the real world. It's in our day-to-day -day lives that we have to give expression to them. So I wish you all a Shavuot Tov a week of unity, a week of Jewish strength, a week of Jewish commitment, that we will overcome all of the enemies that are arrayed against us when we stand united. Thank you. And before we start to Adara, I want to recognize two important rabbis that came to our conference, especially from Moscow. Rabbi Birnbaum and Rabbi Gorin. We're very, very thankful to you, coming especially from Moscow to our event. Thank you very much. Also, we have important guests in our gala, the leadership of Kakal, Kakael, JNF, and of course, the chairman of the Ariad Department of the WGO. Now, I'm going to start the Avdala in a proper manner, but I want to hear and to feel the energy and sing along and later on dance together with us. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Um.
So uh, the, the best way to show the unity of our energy is to say amen together with the song, with the music, uniting our hearts and our spirits, and let us do it as we should. Amen. 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 